So what are we talking about? First off, we are in Germany right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it secret mystery sauce? We can't tell people about that yet? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this. Subscribe, because it's going to be very exciting, very fun, very interesting. <laughs> I feel like some people will not like some of these things. <laughs> That's okay. You can... There could be guilty pleasures. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll explain my justifications. So, uh, I'll get this one out of the way first. This is the, the hi-fi option for me. Right. IE600. Sorry, IE600 from Sennheiser. IE600 from Sennheiser with the Apple to Type-C dongle right. for my Pixel 6. End game setup. Yeah. <laughs> this is end, Well, kind of. Because this is what I'm using when I, I want to like listen to yeah. music. Um, but mostly not on an airplane. You know, it's funny because I, I, I for me, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not a fan of the i600 by default, right? Right. That's no secret. But I, I almost think for a plane, it would be, it would be ideal. Potentially. Or, or for me, at least, it would be better right. because it's more bass and treble. And right. like any of those sort of like competing sounds around you, it'll That's cut fair. through it. So. That makes sense. Yeah. For me, on an airplane, I, well, I have her here. I brought my Nintendo Switch. Right. You know, I've got to have all, all kinds of fun. <laughs> I played Skyrim on it on the airplane. Yeah. Um, so not a lot of music listening. I was either doing that or watching shows. Right. So for the airplane, I had two things. Uh, AirPods Pro, yeah. which I think we both agree on these. Yeah, solid. Yeah. Yeah. AirPods Pros are great. It's the only non-USB-C device I brought. Yeah. But I am charging... It's, it's lightning on that one. Yeah. yeah, but I'm reverse wireless charging it on this. <laughs> so I'm only bringing USB-C devices. You, you, you've mixed and matched all the different... Uh... Yeah. This is like systems. this is this is like the pinnacle of bringing one singular charger to make everything work, and that's yeah. the only way I could do it. Um, and then these, which are USB Type C, yeah. but it's it's a name that's very taboo oh, in, no. in the hi-fi audio file world, and that is a Bose headset. Right. QC forty five, you know, a bit V shaped, not not perfect for music listening, yeah, yeah. Uh, but great noise canceling. And I used this for the flight from Canada to Iceland, Iceland to Finland, Finland yeah. to Berlin, and I still have sixty percent of my battery. And comfortable. And comfortable. Right. Yeah. And when I got tired of a headphone on my head, I'd put it in the AirPods. Right. Um, but that was pretty rare on on the flights. So, so the, this lasted for like you know two and days. And the majority of, of your listening was on that. Um, not necessarily music listening. Right. Like just listening just... to a game or a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which I feel like these are fine for that. Yeah. Um, but it's mostly just like. You know, I put these on, I don't hear the airplane, yeah. and the battery just lasts forever. I had the QC35 twos for years. Yeah. I still have them. I gave them to Sam. Yeah, um, yeah. Then, really, these are very similar to that functionally. It's just the battery lasts a lot longer. Yeah. So, you know, it, that's the, these exist for airplanes for me. Can, Ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, you yeah. can drown out your... your... The, the, the fear inducing sounds of yes. potential engine failure. <laughs> and when I wasn't on the uh, when I wasn't on the plane, that's when I was using the I six hundred. So anytime I was waiting in an airport right. uh, or times here at the hotel, I was working on a video yesterday. Right. I had these on. Do you uh, find like the difference between the, the wireless A and C versus in ears that have because those have pretty good isolation as well. Yes. So do you still find that the noise floor benefits, like having less noise floor with the ANC stuff? Massively for me. Yeah. Like I, no matter how good of a fit, um, you still have connections to your uh, nasal cavities and all that through like the eustachian tubes right. and things like that. Um, and that's in, in airplanes. That's yeah. yeah. You, well, it's just the base. Yeah. I no matter what, no matter like even my custom IEMs, I used to fly with those. Yeah. We were talking about those earlier. Yeah. Sixty four A six. I'll still get that. Yeah. No matter what, yeah. and like the the reason I bring the noise canceling is just because I put that on and that is completely gone. Yeah, so it's funny because I, I had almost the I, I was sort of surprised at how much I didn't mind the noise floor mm -hmm. because so it's a little bit of the opposite for right. me. Um, I was kind of going in expecting to listen to mostly podcasts. I had like a ton of podcasts, you know, downloaded and like movies and stuff on the plane, and so I brought the sixty four audio U six T and the uh, Qtelix five K. Just to sort of Bluetooth. But that's literally like the a newer Universal Fit version of my A6s. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, the Universal. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, and and I love these. Um, and I've I've been sort of like uh, I've been I've been gushing about them a little bit like on social media just because it's it was one of those where it's like I, I listened to them initially and I was like oh yeah I, I like these mm -hmm. but then like so many other things happened and it wasn't until a lot lo later that I kind of revisited them and went. Damn, this is this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sixty four makes a really nice yeah. product. They really do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably my favorite IEM brand as of as of right now. Yeah, and that's I've liked them for a long yeah. time. But you know, I, it's funny because when I was listening to this on the plane, 
I found myself just suddenly going to my music library. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's suddenly just, even though there's a competing noise floor and all that stuff, I found that I didn't That's mind weird. it as much. Yeah. It's like yeah, a yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. Really yeah. big, expensive tube map. <laughs> yeah, but like, and, and like all the, you know, the sound quality benefits, it was yeah. like, I, I, it was definitely lost a little bit, but it wasn't as completely lost as I thought it was going to be. Right. You know, as a result of the noise floor. And I'm just remembering the last time when I went on a longer plane trip, I had those, I had that Bose 700. Mm -hmm. um, that was back in November when I went to also France. Also great noise cancelling. Also good noise, yeah. noise cancelling, but I found I just enjoyed the experience so much more with these. Mm -hmm. I was just so much more in, like, again, it just sort of took me by surprise where I was like, you know, this is not going to be a mu music listening flight because I'm right. only bringing one thing and it's not a noise cancelling thing. And mm -hmm. suddenly I found myself, you know, deep in the jazz. <laughs> yeah, right. Back in your eclectic jazz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that, and, and then, you know, with the Qlux 5K, mm -hmm. um, this is what I I, um, I sort of Bluetoothed it to my computer, mm -hmm. and when I was watching, I was watching a bunch of you know Netflix shows and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it has all this functionality with like EQ and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Didn't even use it. How's the volume for that with an IEM? Because I know that the, oh, totally fine. Yeah. I know they're very sensitive. Oh man, the, the funny thing uh, is that yeah, even even though these have uh, they have the I think they have the linear impedance design, the lid or whatever they call mm -hmm. it. Um, when I I tried watching uh, one of the movies that was on the flight, and they have the little plugs there that you can plug your own oh, headphones right, in. Oh, right, the whole... No, no, yeah. no, on our flight it was like just a just a regular 3.5. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, which was, yeah, very convenient. But um, when I plugged these in, it was very, very loud. It yeah. was like, like, I was like, oh god, I can't, you know. because they have to drive those, <laughs> like, the, the crappy airplane yeah. headphones, and they probably drive them to insane volumes. I was tempted to, because they offered them to me. Yep. And I, I was tempted to just like grab one to just check it out. I'm going to on the way back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and maybe. Measure a pair. Yeah. I'm, I, somehow I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. But I'll have to review the Iceland Air headphones. Yeah. Next. <laughs> this is the only thing you brought. This is the only thing I brought. And um, I, because again, I was, I'm so, you know, decked out in camera gear at the moment that I, just, I was like, I'm you not are really decked out in camera gear. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't see it off camera. He, he has a bag that is the size of my entire torso. Yeah. I brought There's DMS in camera gear. Yeah, yeah. Literally just cut off my arms and legs, throw me in the bag. That's that's what I brought. I'm surprised, though. Yeah. I will say I'm surprised that um, you don't have an N700 NC with you, an AKG. I think it might be with Chrono right now, I think. Mm. Yeah, because that, that's probably... I, I was actually even looking for that when I was in the studio, and I have the box for it, and I opened right. it up, and there's uh, they're not there. So I'm pretty sure they're with Chrono right now. So had, had you had them, that would have been here, too, probably. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I was I, definitely that, that was my first thought. It was like when we were like, oh, we should film a video about yeah. the things you brought. I was like, there's no way he didn't bring the in Yeah, I know. It, it, it would have been that one. Um, well, it, actually, I was considering bringing the Mark Levinson, mm. but um, that one... Uh, yeah, it's it's still just at the studio. It's one of those things where it's like I just didn't have the space. Have you tried the um, AKG N seven hundred on a plane yet? No, and it, you know it is Im an important thing to try for noise canceling headphones because mm -hmm. I do find that like the experience is different. Like my favorite up until now had been the Sennheiser Momentum three, mm -hmm. like the 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 over ear, um, and when I used it on a plane, even it was just a short plane ride down to Cal down to uh, L A. I found that it was just so, for whatever reason, with my glasses, it just mm -hmm. was not comfortable. It kept like pushing in a weird spot. Yeah. And so, like, even though that's my favorite for noise canceling headphones for sound quality at the moment, still, mm -hmm. that one, it's one that I probably wouldn't use for a, you know, 13 hours on a plane or whatever, you know? Right. So, but it also seems to vary a lot, like the actual noise canceling performance. So, like these AirPods Pros, yeah. great noise canceling. Yeah. Like, I, I would say that, like, Apple makes noise canceling devices that are on par with Bose yeah. in normal listening environments. Yeah. Not necessarily during takeoff on planes, right? Because when I'm, the, you know, when the plane's taking off, you get that crazy. It's, it's much stronger rumble when you're first taking yeah, off because yeah. you have the wheel noise and all that. These are fine. Yeah. Um, when we're in the air, I'd say they're basically the same. But during takeoff, the AirPods Pros they just pop and crackle the whole time during takeoff. Like clipping. Interesting. I've yeah. not experienced that. And it depends. Um, oh, is it because it's trying to cancel out that? It, yeah, it's, it's trying, trying to cancel to out much. Like, so much rumble. Interesting. And it, it's 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 clipping and popping on the low ends, hmm. the super low frequencies. It doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um, and I find that generally the times that I've experienced that, it's been more near like uh, the middle or back of a plane. Yeah. Uh, closer to or behind the engines. If I'm near the front, it doesn't happen as much. But that has never happened with me on the 45s, and it has happened on these. We should do a segment called Plane Fi. 
Yeah. Well, what we, what, here's what we need. I need to get out my SVS subwoofers. Yeah. And set them up right in front of some noise canceling headphones. Yeah, right, yeah. right here, and just blast it and yeah. and run plain engine sounds through that. Yes, exactly. That'll be. We'll have a benchmark of that. Yeah. Like, okay, we're gonna run this at a hundred decibels at X hertz. Yeah, that's yeah. the next piece of lab equipment we need to get. Some SVS subwoofers. Yeah, I've had a great experience with them. You're yeah. like, no, I promise, we need the whole home theater. It's just, yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll. we'll Chat or meet up with those guys in, yeah. uh, in Munich and chat yeah, with them. Yeah, that'd be a very important tax write off, I imagine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we got. Um, as, as we mentioned before, we're filming something very exciting today. If you're not subscribed, you should be. This will probably come out before that video I made. Definitely. Yeah, because yeah. it's going to be quicker to edit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what, we, that's what we brought. Yeah. Next, cool. time, next time we'll bring more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you do you want to do the outro or should I or how do you want to do it? I have no outros. I'm just like okay. <laughs> just turn the I'm, just, I'm just gonna. I'll run through it then. Yeah. Um, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment letting me know what you want to see in the future or what you want to see in the future from him too, or maybe what we should travel with next. Time. I'm open to suggestions. If you want to get active and informed, you can put the link in the video description. And as always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe, more cool stuff in the way. Peace.